What is going on guys? Hey, my name is Timothy with Timothy's Mobile Home Tours and the home that I'm about to show you right now is unreal. It is spectacular. It is amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. The Hay Shaker by Berica Homes. Oh my gosh, I love this home. I love the white siding with the black windows. It just makes it pop. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know. I'm just so excited about this home. Now this is uh, currently set up as a one bedroom, one and a half bath Cape Cod but it has an unfinished upstairs where you can add an additional two bedrooms and a bathroom, bringing you to a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. Now the current uh, square footage for the home is 1600 square foot. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you this little sunroom, which you can kind of see right there. It's a little section that comes off of the home. And uh, that's an addition that you can have added to this home. But um, so with that currently, it is 1600 square foot. Now, if you were to finish those rooms upstairs that I was talking about, that's gonna bring you to a finished square footage of 2100 square foot. So I just, there's so much to love about this home. Now, the board and batten siding, so cool looking. One of my favorites, I absolutely love it. And then this one has a full garage. You can put actually two cars in here. Uh, inside, they actually have a handicap ramp. So if you were wanting to go look at the home and you needed some assistance, they have that. Um, and then if you were handicapped or you needed some handicap accessible uh, doorways or something, I know a lot of people have been asking me about that. You can work with Berica Homes and if there's a wall that might be too long or a doorway that's too small, you can have all of that stuff adjusted by sitting down and talking to their design reps. Pretty much they have base floor plans like this one but from what Sarah, one of the sales reps was telling me, you can come in here and if you have any type of floor plan in mind, you can, you can create it. It's whatever your imagination comes up with, they can help you build it. So that's really cool. Now, one of the standard features on this home right here is the porch. And uh, you can either have it like this concrete porch or you can, whatever, if you wanted like deck board or something like that, um, you can have that done up as well. But the features in this home are just they're top notch. I, I haven't seen anything like it yet before. And this powder blue door right here, I'm absolutely in love with. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this beautiful home. Now, when you first walk in, it opens up into this beautiful, spacious floor plan. You have the kitchen and the living room right here together. And oh my goodness, y'all just wait. I got some surprises in store. They're really cool. So this is the entrance right here when you first walk in. And then as you can see to your left, this wall right here is ship lapped all the way down, which just gives it such a cool feeling. And then it has a little barn door right there. And that's a secret. I'm gonna tell you what that is in just a minute. Now my mic did go potato on me today. So if you hear a little different audio quality, well, that's, uh, that's me doing a voiceover, so. Now the flooring is a uh, vinyl plank flooring and that's pretty much throughout all the home with the exception of the bedroom. Uh, the bedroom does have carpet. And then you have your real wood burning fireplace with a beautiful, beautifully done brick. Now the brick is real. Uh, most homes that I've been in, it's all been like faux brick, but not here. And then on each side, obviously you have two beautiful built-ins. Just, just a lovely home. And then I brought Cody with me today. Poor little guy ended up breaking his arm. So we had to go get his real cast on today. And uh, I told him if he come with me to, to tour some homes, I'd buy him some ice cream afterwards. So he wanted to come and help me out. Huge island beautiful kitchen and y'all this thing it has some surprises nice deep sink little undermount sink and then you have the mowing up fixtures and this beautiful herringbone tile as a backsplash i just i was in heaven when i was in this home and then going into your pantry
Now here, you see Cody just being goofy. He's all about, he's wanting to show off this microwave so bad. I don't think he's been in a home where he's not had a microwave uh, mounted above the stove or anything. So super excited about it. And then there are outlets on either side of this. And then you actually, I'm gonna show you the dinner table in just a second. It's got a bunch of storage up underneath of the bench. And then it has, of course, the dishwasher and this beautiful, beautiful stove range hood. And then you can see the pot filler in the back as well. Now we all know I only ever open up a few cabinets and uh, I was starting to skip some and I did have Sarah here who is one of the sales reps at Berica Homes and she was nice enough to, to go through and show all the cool hidden features of this home because I would have done one or two and just that would have been it. And then Cody, he wanted to come and help too. I guess he had already been searching through all the all the cabinets and stuff. Just there are so many cool features in this home and all of the cabinets and drawers are soft closed, which was really nice. Um, we have some customers that are a little bit older, so heavy, um, you know, KitchenAid mixers and stuff. You can actually pull this entire thing out and it will lock into place. This can hold up to 170 pounds. So if you have a really heavy range or anything like that, you want to keep it there. There's just two little latches underneath. And then also you have some pullouts over here, which are really nice, which are also soft closed, by the way. Um, most of the time when we have found some of these, uh, they haven't been soft closed. So I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, man, I'm gonna have to start paying that kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding, an ice cream. Anyway. And then uh, if you had any pots or, or pans or anything, Right here, it kind of divides them up. Just so much going on in these cabinets. And to think I would have only opened one, that would have been it. And you guys would have missed it. So now I'm gonna have to go back, every home I tour, I'm gonna have to open up every single one of them. So y'all just gonna have to, you're gonna have to bear with it. I'm just kidding, most everything doesn't have anything. It doesn't have cabinets like this. Now, the, the bench side is built into the island, and then it has a whole bunch of storage up underneath of it as well. So, all your place settings and everything can go in there. I'd probably end up putting pots or pans. I don't know. I'm just kidding. And then the table is also movable, so you don't have to have it super close to that. You can back it up to where you want it. And then coming into this beautiful sunroom, oh my goodness, I absolutely love the, the beams and the chandelier up here. Uh, right now, this is kind of set up as their office, so if you go over to Berica Homes and you want to tour some of the homes, you're going to have to go into this home anyway to sign up and let them know that you're there. So, but, oh my gosh, that sunroom is just beautiful. Now, coming down the hallway, you're going to come into the half bath. And it has the, the Heidi door. Yep. And then your toilet and your vanity. And then coming into the laundry room, you have your washer dryer hookups and no the washer dryer unfortunately doesn't come with this one but it is nice to see um see them set in there and then just beautiful you got a nice big window in here with your electric panel and then your sprinkler system if you live in a state that requires sprinkler systems verica homes builds in maryland and maryland is one of those states delaware however is not but Either way, that's where your water main would go if you had one. And then coming into this garage, it is finished, which is, this is a first, honestly, for me, um, as far as these modular homes go. I have toured one 
that had a garage, but it wasn't set up just because of the lot that it was on. But it's nice to have a home with a garage. And then the ramp doesn't come with the home, but Berka Homes will work with you if you need uh, handicap accessible uh, ramps or doorways or anything like that. Like I said before, that's something that you can work with their design folks on. And then one thing that we haven't seen in any homes yet is this tankless water heater right here, which is nice as opposed to your normal water heaters. Um, you know, they have a maximum capacity and once they're used up, especially if it's a bigger home, you're taking a shower with some cold water. But with the tankless water systems, uh, they just keep pumping that once they warm up, obviously, they just keep pumping that warm water. And then he is just having a field day. <laughs> anyway, all right, so upstairs. Like I said, upstairs was unfinished, but it is still framed out in the two bedroom, one bath uh, configuration. So you can work with Berica's design team. And if you wanted to finish it out, uh, that's something you could definitely do. With this finished out, like I said, it is uh, 2,100 square foot. And then this would be one of the bedrooms right here. And then right next to that, you're gonna have the bathroom. And then this right here would be your second bedroom upstairs. And then the dormers, um, you can definitely, you know, those are all different options and stuff. It does open it up a little bit, give you a little bit more headroom since you do have those pitch ceilings and everything. And now we're gonna head back downstairs and into the master suite. And wait until y'all see this bathroom, this shower. Oh my goodness. I, I see a lot of cool showers. I mean, these type of homes are always, uh, you know, going above and beyond with the showers. So I'm super excited to share all this one. Now with this home, it does have access to, uh, whether it's a crawl space or a basement. This one just happened to have a fully enclosed crawl space and they did open it up for me so I could go down there and show you guys. Of course, you can always talk to them too if you're uh, touring the home and they'll open it up for you and let you check it out as well. It just makes it nice to have it inside. Um, especially up here, we get a whole lot colder climates so you don't have to go outside in the freezing cold and then it also has like its own temperature control down here as well so your normal hvac system doesn't have to work as hard uh, throughout the rest of the home so that's a pretty cool feature and then coming in to the beautiful master bedroom i'll make sure to put the size up for you just very bright i love all the the lights that they have in here, the chandeliers. Um, I guess they're chandeliers, but they keep them going throughout the whole house. Very flowy. And then coming into your closet. Nice deep walk-in closet. Wood shelving, always nice. And of course, just like in every one of these homes, um, no matter what, you can always change or upgrade the shelving, especially if you come across some of that wire shelving. Um, that's, it's always an upgrade. So if you see it, don't worry about it, it can be changed. And then coming into this beautiful master bathroom, I love it. It's got the mowing fixtures, the double vanities. I love the raised sinks. And then you still have, they kept that same tile backsplash that goes all the way to the ceiling. And they even have it as part of the shower surround. It's just beautiful. And then you have your little toilet alcove with a nice little window bringing in some beautiful light. And then the little wall with the beautiful marble countertops. And then coming into this shower, oh my goodness. I love it. 
I love the surround. You have the rainfall shower head. Then you have your little cutouts. Just super. It's this is a fancy one. And then you got a little bench. My butt's too big for that little bench. I'd probably need a bigger bench though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then some more shelving for your linens and stuff like that. All right, guys, as always, let's go ahead and talk about some prices. But before we do that, hey, if you haven't heard of Weeble before, it's a stock trading app with zero commissions. They haven't sponsored me uh, or this video, but they did reach out and offer a little link in order for you guys to pick up two free stocks. All you have to do is sign up to get the first stock. And then after you deposit your first hundred dollars, you can get your second stock. So it's free money. Who doesn't like that? If you want to check that out, you can find the link for Weeble down in the description below and uh, we'll go ahead and hop into the prices. So the Hay Shaker, beautiful, beautiful home. It's by Berica Homes, and it's gonna start you in the low 200s to get your hands on this beautiful thing, 1,600 square foot. Go all the way up to 2,100 square foot. Absolutely customizable. I'll leave the link for Berica Homes down in the description below so you can go check those guys out. And before we get out of here, I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you that have been supporting the channel just commenting, watching the videos. It means the world to both me and Jen. We really appreciate it, and we enjoy having you all around. So again, thank you very much, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Have a safe Memorial Day, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.